Well, this one's heartwarming. There are few things more inspirational than seeing a parent go the extra mile for their children. And that's exactly what one Falmouth father has done. As Local 12's Brad Underwood shows us, Greg Dennison is not only making a difference at home, he is also giving kids across the country something life-changing. You can make just about anything with a 3D printer. At the Denison home in Falmouth, the printers are constantly on, improving the life of eight-year-old Lucas Denison. When I get a new hand, I am really excited for it. You heard that right, a new hand. This one has two thumbs on it, so I could pick up cu cups easier. Without fingers on his left hand, Lucas had some limitations. But now, thanks to his dad's 3D printers, he can pick up just about anything. I couldn't even pinch Dad's beard. <laughs> but now I can. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> the soon-to-be nine-year-old was born without fingers on his left hand. He was a little shy, you know, about it growing up. Um, hiding his hands, you know, if people were staring, whatnot. But now, as you can see, he's anything but shy and happy to show off all of his left hands. Oh. <laughs> Playing catch with his dad was never this easy, nor was it an easy task to carry food and cups at the same time, or even take the horse for a walk in the backyard. With the hand, I can hold two reins, and also I can also, I can also grab onto the horn on the saddle and then pull myself up. But Greg Dennison isn't just improving his son's life, He's a part of a network of volunteers with a group called Enable. They make life easier for kids and adults like his son using 3D printing technology. This is all 31 pieces completed for a Raptor Reloaded hand. This will be donated in October to some little girl at the conference. But the creativity doesn't stop at the hand. Dennison also makes attachments like cup holders. Lego grips and even a cell phone adapter, all in hopes of making life easier for Luke and kids across the country. With little cool hand Luke in Falmouth, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Uh -huh. Well, in addition to the Enable conferences, Luke and his dad also travel to Maker Fairs, and they'll be at the Cincinnati Museum Center later this month for a mini Maker Fair. They'll be showing off that 3D printed hand and showing others how to make them as well. For more information on how you can help, head to local12.com and click on the red Get It button.